What's up, guys? This is Kyle from Wax Museum, and I am back from another Central Florida card show. This time it was the Tampa Bay Sports Card Show at the Holiday Inn at West Shore Boulevard. And I got there when the show opened, and traffic was already fairly steady. I know there were signers that were scheduled to show up later, the Nasty Boys, the wrestlers. I didn't stay for that, so maybe traffic picked up even more. It's the first time I've ever seen a signer there, though, so that was nice. But anyway, this is more of a digging show traditionally, and I didn't see a lot of opportunities for digging today. I was kind of surprised. I saw a lot nicer cards than I would normally see there. Uh, Not to say they aren't ever there, but quantity-wise, I think I saw at least five Curry Autos. I'll try to show you some of that stuff here in just a little bit, and then after all of that, I'll show you a couple pieces of mail and some things that I picked up today as well. So I hope you enjoy. Depends on the day. Oh, for sure. All right, guys, so this is a card that uh, one of my friends has, and as you can see, it's it's a Jordan, it's a Ruby, it's a PSA 10. There's your number in 32 out of 50, so he is wondering what this card is worth. This is hard to find a good comp on this, so if you guys have some idea, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I saw a little bit down there. Okay, and then the only other ones would be in these dollar ones. I know I've randomly hit it. That's what I was just telling him. I've yeah. randomly hit it in your boxes before, but yeah, I it's haven't. sporadic and not yeah. not one box. Yeah, I know they're in any of these three. I've got it down to. Trying to get it where I can think got a whole box, but not yet. Yeah, yeah, I figured. 
Yeah, that's what I thought it was because I had the glare. I couldn't, I couldn't see the other side of the car. Yeah, yeah, the platinum portrait. I'll keep on the, I'll be at Opaka next week. Okay, next, next month. month. Next month, yeah. Okay, now for the fun part. So I got a couple cards in the mail today. Going to go through those. Uh, I got some gifts from a friend, which is actually bigger than my purchase stack. And then I've got some purchases. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This one, I know what it is. It's a card that I bought this week for a set that I'm doing. Uh, it was $15 shipped. This is the Topps Heritage Retrofractor of Tracy McGrady, numbered to 272. And I wish, even though they're called retrofractors, they don't have a refractor finish. Uh, they didn't make one that did. I wish they did, but still a cool set that is based off of that 1971 design. Um, and as you can see here, that's numbered to 272. 272. So um, that's a 60 card set. I have probably 10 or 11 now. The rookies are the hardest because they're out of 72. So anyway, happy to add that one. That's one of the bigger names. All right, this is a through the mail request that says it's from Oregon. Um, it's got a very old stamp on it. So I don't know. I think it's baseball. Um, it doesn't feel like a tall card either. So, ooh, wow. I sent these probably... I'll have to look it up. This, these are 68 tops. I was working on that set. Um, you can see that's an extra. It's roughed up. But I probably sent these, who knows, 2017, 2018. Um, so very slow set build that I'll never finish. But um, didn't expect to add those. And I did add those today. All right. Let's get into uh, the gifts here. So this was my friend Corey. He... Uh, outdid himself. He gave me this big stack of stuff. He buys big lots and then he goes through them and, and kind of picks out stuff that he knows that I like. So 
Uh, I need to get him back for this stuff. I need to find some Rafer Alston. That's who he collects. But anyway, that same Topps Heritage set I showed you earlier, he's got two of the rookies, which those are numbered. So the base rookies are numbered to 1972. So he gave me those. Uh, we've got one of the Donruss. I don't remember if that's called Red Flood or, well, Press Proof probably. Um, number to 99, a Lance Stevenson Select Silver, a Jeff Teague Silver. Uh, this is, I want to say, a 2016 Spectra uh, Silver of Paul George, and these were thicker cards. If you're familiar with Spectra, though, you know that. Um, Andrew Bynum, Pacers Legend. I love this card, though, because I love the old Crusade design. And then Andrew Bynum only played two games with the Pacers, so that that's showing one of them there. Uh, I was really excited about signing him. He helped us win two games, but uh, wasn't meant to be. And then it also kind of contributed to the downfall of this guy, Roy Hibbert. I don't think he took too kindly to us signing Andrew Bynum, but, but we were countering Miami's signing of Greg Oden, of all things. Such a weird era, right? Pacers legend Jeff Foster here, the GOAT. This is a really cool Andrew Luck numbered refractor, number 22 of 99. That'll go in the Colts binder. Got a nice Matherin uh, select red ice, a Miles Turner Monopoly. Um, this is a cool set called Autographics on Location. These were actually postmarked. It's got a real stamp on it. Um, so kind of near where all the players were at, they had them postmark these cards. And uh, so Austin's was signed, looks like, in Indianapolis. That's really cool. Got a Jonathan Bender autograph. Uh, TJ Warren. Donruss Parallel. Here's a Jermaine O'Neal. Number to 25. R class. I think that's 2004. Ah, yeah, actually, it says it on there. That will go in the Jermaine O'Neal pages in the binder. Got another Matherin rookie. That's a nice one. And an orange 2016 select Paul George. Here's a Paul George number to 15. Got a Roy Hibbert Bowman Chrome refractor. Those are out of 4.99. Uh, Chris Duarte numbered recon card. This, uh, I believe, is just the, the retail blue prism. I don't know. Maybe these are considered the silver for select. I think it actually might be considered the silver. They've added so much stuff on now. I don't know. But these look really nice. Especially with Pacers players. Those look great. And then another Matherin. So um, thank you, Corey. Really hooked me up. In fact, um, I should talk about him because I also bought and i'll show you the clip here i bought a box of top loaders off of him which i know used top loaders aren't for everyone but uh, some of them already had the price tags on them you know three dollars four dollars whatever i use those when i'm prepping for shows i like organizing that i don't know it's it's just kind of um sets my mind at ease just to sit there and sort through some of that stuff so uh, i had a lot of fun and that, that will give me some entertainment and some practicality as well so happy to have landed that box for cheap and then uh, my other pickup, I only spent $1 other than that box of top loaders, that four row of top loaders. Uh, and I really only wanted one or two cards, but they were five for a dollar. So um, it wasn't the this Herb score that I picked up. Um, I want to say that's a 61. It wasn't this Yankees team card. I don't remember the year on that. Sorry, baseball people. It wasn't this... Um, AL Strikeouts Leaders with Mickey Lolich and Joe Coleman. Uh, there's a Ramon Martinez Refractor, which, you know, at five for a buck, that's a great deal. But no, my uh, best pickup in that five for a dollar box, which I really spent a dollar on it because I wasn't going to get all that other stuff, is this 1999 Bowman Chrome Jose Canseco Refractor. And I looked it up on 130 point. I think the last one of these sold best offer for 26 bucks. So, you know, this was in a quarter box. I got it a little cheaper. There's nothing like 100x in your money. If, if I can actually get that for it, just because someone else bought it doesn't mean I'm going to get that. But um, those are always the, the fun little victories. Because like I said earlier, there's a lot of really nice stuff at the show today. The digging wasn't so good, but it only takes one nice dig to really make 
that show. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.